Queen Elizabeth abdication, Kate Middleton and Prince William. Signaling date is near. Is the Queen stepping down really soon? This has been a question for years, but more so when it became apparent that she's scaling back on some of her duties and activities this year. The pandemic is naturally a factor, but is the rest of the royals starting to prepare for the day? Allegedly, Kate Middleton and Prince William are. Are Kate and William truly stepping up more these days, not because they need to do in times of pandemic but because they got used to working so much for when the queen officially steps down from her role according to royal expert Katie Nichol the queen's abdication just might be the main motivation for the duke and duchess of Cambridge to be more active and visible these days the duchess 38 and the duke 37 are presently in the limelight because unlike the previous years where they are not as active in their royal duties publicly, they're preparing for the Queen's stepping down. The expert claimed that the Queen simply could not go on forever, even though she's already the longest reigning monarch to date. Therefore, even during a pandemic, or because it's a pandemic, Prince William and Kate Middleton have to continue supporting and cheering on charities. They have to continually be the face of calm and cheer for the frontline staff through video calls. At the same time, they have to be reassuring and hands-on parents for the three children as palace staff are reduced. According to Nicol, even though this palace is adamant about playing down rumors that the Queen is already retiring or the verge of abdication by scaling back, nobody is fooled. The reality is that it is more apparent than ever that Prince Charles, as well as the Cambridges, are generally stepping up now. This is good evidence that the Queen is retiring soon. Moreover, Prince William and Kate Middleton are already warming up to the duties. Nichols said that it is apparent that as days pass and two become increasingly involved in the thick of things, they're also letting their guard down. We are seeing them letting their guard down, and that is a result of what we are going through, the expert added. The royal family plays an important role in the UK in ordinary times. Instead of losing their value during extraordinary periods, such as pandemic, they are being perceived as more valuable. This is because in really bleak times, people turn to the royal family for a sense of support, comfort and even hope. British people in general more so when their royal fans and avid followers can feel uplifted when they see or have a picture of what the future royal family is going to look like. If the royal family is a semblance of unity and young generations of the family look happy and healthy then the people can feel comforted as well this is why it can be observed that even though the times are uncertain the royals have become more social and open the royal family has gone to great lengths not to be seen to be aloof or distant or unrelatable nickel explained even though the queen is stepping down and kate and william are being so active these days to prepare for that eventually it doesn't mean that the queen is already frail and cannot do anything anymore in fact, her recent activities, which include using a digital platform to communicate with the British and give them uplifting words and encouragement, just show how much she's still embracing her role as the monarch, even at 94. Meghan Markle in danger, Prince Harry's his wife, secretly learning self-defense. Meghan Markle is reportedly found of martial arts and kickboxing. George Blanco, a trainer who also works with Chris Hemsworth and his wife, Elsa Pataki, instructed the Duchess of Sussex when she resided in Toronto, Canada while acting for the television series Suits. He divulged that she was fond of combat sports. Blanco remarked of the Duchess, I trained Meghan when she was in Toronto during the shooting of the series Suits. We did a little bit of martial arts, a little boxing and sometimes kickboxing. I never thought she could end up being a princess. He said he had a great time coaching her because she was very nice and also speaks Spanish with an Argentine accent. I don't know if Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan around now in Toronto. My schedule is pretty complicated, but I would not mind training both of them if she called me, he added. The question posed is, is she facing an impending danger? The former Hollywood actress and her husband, Prince Harry, officially stepped down as senior members of the British royal family in March 31. And it has now been disclosed that the former royal couple didn't expect things to turn out the way they did. The former protagonist of Suits still maintains a true passion for sports and healthy eating, two of the main themes of her old blog, The Tig. The Duchess has always given an emphasis on physical exercise, either through her passion for yoga that she inherited from her mother, Doria Reglan, a yoga teacher herself, or with the help of professions. Meanwhile, Finding Freedom, the new biography of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle by Ermit Scobie and Carolyn Doran is slated to be released as the condemning receipt brandishing account of racism and sexism within the walls of the Kensington Palace 
and friends of the pair have cautioned and courtiers have long been intimidated. A friend of Prince Harry's commented, The hope obviously is that everyone is just hyping it and will actually be less of a big deal than they say, but nobody really knows. Author Scoby described the narrative as a long project in the making the last few weeks have been quite challenging getting it all ready in time for the deadline it feels nice to be finally be able to talk about it after quietly bivering away on it for a long time he said the project was initiated around two years ago marked by an unpredictable twist and turns there is something no one expected i don't even think Harry and Meghan, who by their own account struggled with the realities of the situation, expected things to turn out the way they did. Before marrying into the royal family, the horrible bosses, actress, sought the help of a professional martial arts coach to equip herself with the basics of self-defense. This was deemed crucial even if she was traveling along with royal protection.